And welcome back to The Factor Uncensored. It is always worse when you have another minority being a racist minority, and this is an exact case of that. A secret recording has revealed racist, ugly thoughts from a now former Los Angeles City Council member and three other high-ranking Hispanics, two on the council, one in charge of the labor union in L.A. Former council president Nuri Martinez has resigned from office days after she was heard calling a fellow city council member's adopted black son a little monkey in Spanish and that he needed to beat down because he acted too white. It's like the honest thing, it's like black and brown on this float. And then there's this, this white guy with a little black kid who's misbehaved. The kid is bouncing off the effing walls on the float, practically tipping it over. They're raising him like a little white kid, which I was like, this kid is a beat down. Like, let me, let me take him around the corner and then I'll bring him back. Now, my next guest say this sheds a light on the racism within leadership roles and the black-brown divide. Take a listen. Our guests are here on The Factor on Censored to discuss this very disturbing story out of Los Angeles. Bishop James Dixon, when you heard the comments made by these Hispanic um, council members uh, against not only their own people or those who are indigenous, also black, your thoughts on that and their behavior and how they were caught on tape just saying ugly things. Isaiah, thank you for having me uh, on behalf of the Houston ACP and other organizations. Let me say this. First of all, it's obviously unacceptable. That's, that's clear. But secondly, it's disappointing the fact that hidden racism has affected and continues to affect the quality of life for so many different people across in, in this nation, whether they're indigenous, black or Hispanic or otherwise. And it's important for us to recognize that we see evidences and manifestations of this hidden racism. And Angela Botts bringing you into this conversation. Mike Bonin is another city council member, a uh, white council member who's uh, married, uh, openly gay, and he has a black adop adopted son. And this city council member, um, Nuri Martinez, called that child a monkey. Well, <clears throat> it is, it is uh, interesting to see that, as usual, it's the Democrats who are actually the racists and accuse uh, the other side of doing what they are what? doing. And hang on. When in reality, conservatives see people, want to see people based on content of character, not color of skin. And it is it is remarkable to see Democrats against Democrats kind of eating their own to uh, be the top dog in the Democrat Party. When in reality, it's the Democrat Party that constantly um, tells black and brown people, for example, that they're too stupid or helpless to get a photo ID to vote like everybody else can, who tells them that they're not capable of behaving in, a, in the same way as, as other people in society and make excuses for bad behavior. It is, as usual, the Democrats showing their true colors that they are the true racists. Andrew, let me say that uh, I have Republican friends, Democrat friends. Let me just so it's not all Republicans, not all Democrats, not all Blacks, not all Hispanics. We have reached out, however, to many conservative Republicans to have a healing reconciliation conversation. Let's come reason together. And they refuse to do that because policies, policies represent what individuals' values are. And, and, and of course, even some of our conservative white evangelical brothers and sisters in the Christian faith preaching messages that are divide our community quite often. So I, I'm not, I don't paint with a broad brush. But the reality is, in this circumstance, this should not be politicized as a party issue. So in, in response to your Do you agree? political, um, it, you know, look, it is the uh, Democrat Party that is not for school choice. It is the Democrat Party that turns the, turns a blind eye on the open border uh, disaster we've got. It's the Democrat Party that doesn't want to give parents a decision whether to take their children out of a failing school. That Democrat Party is beholden to teachers union. So I agree, there needs to be more dialogue with the Republican Party. And I am more than happy to put you in touch with many members of the Republican Party that I know personally that would love to have a dialogue with the uh, NAACP branch in Houston. Well, I, I want to have a dialogue with you. 
but, Great, but, I would but, love it. But, but, but since we're talking about right now. And, and let's focus, guys, on, on Los Angeles and get back to the point of Los Angeles. Amen. Let's talk about this, uh, Bishop Dixon. Is it a situation where power can corrupt? You hold power too long, you become arrogant and uh, almost elitist at the top, and you just become racist as well. Power can corrupt, Isaiah, but I think fundamentally, those values uh, that we see manifesting with adults who are in power positions, uh, unfortunately, those values are normally held long before they hold office. And I, I don't think this is a matter of becoming corrupt or becoming racist. This is a matter of a manifestation of something that has existed over the years. All right. Well, we're out of time. We want to I thank you both that. for joining us here on The Factor Uncensored. Just a very disturbing situation out of Los Angeles, a sad situation.